Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as Cyprus. In the last episode, we started the construction of a bishopric over here. Wait, didn't I? Oh no, never mind, I did it over here. Yeah, it's gonna take some four years for this temple to get built, but that's okay. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to live to see that. Now I'm actually not that sure if we've got four years left. We'll have to see. But um, yeah, our grandson is ready to marry and I've already had a quick look at who we could marry. And there's some interesting options. Um, for example, this one is the daughter of the Queen of Alba. So this would give us, I think, like 700 fame or prestige. That would be quite a bit. Now, um, we would also, this is a car link, so we would get like 500 prestige here. But the thing is, we are a zealot, and so I don't think we're going to marry any Catholics or Valdensians or Apostolics. I think we want to marry good Orthodox and uh, Orthodox people, and so I decided we're going to go with Epiphania, not Epiphany, Epiphania, and uh, she's good enough. I mean, she herself is actually a zealot. She is brave, diligent. She's intellectual. The only problem is that she's coughing a bit, which I don't like, but uh, we would gain enough prestige to marry into this house, so I think overall it's still fine. Unfortunately, we're not getting any, um, we're not getting an alliance for it, but overall I, th I still think it's a good deal, especially because of her zealousness. Now, um, yeah, we're waiting for the bishopric to be built, and wow, the Count of Rushka, he has, uh, Agreed to our marriage. This guy is disfigured, but a theologian. Oh, he looks interesting. Uh, there's a bit of a glitch going on, I think. Uh, and you should probably clean that out. It's uh, very bloody. Anyway, he's sadistic as well. Wow, there's very many sadistic people. Okay, now we're at war with... Is that Hungary? Damn, what is going on with the Byzantines? They just keep on... Yeah, the Clan Wars. Now, I do believe some of this, yeah, is still de jure. And this is... Yeah, in 80 years, this will be part of the Byzantine Empire as well. Hmm. Some great ones. Well, there are still some things to conquer over here as well that uh, we haven't taken just yet. And you? Are you... You're Apostolic Armenian. Okay. You're holding out against the Muslims so far. Not too bad. In fact, I'm actually looking to go uh, to war once again with uh, the Caliph. Now, uh, the reason being that we're zealous and I somewhat want to, yeah, continue with our successes. Uh, there is a holy site of Antioch here, which is not under Orthodox control, and we could very much go ahead and take it. I mean, it's very close to us. We could go ahead and defend it. I mean, it's right here. Um, it's just the question of whether or not we would be able to defeat this guy. He's got 2,000 men, which is a lot. Plus, his allies have even more troops. And um, the only thing is he doesn't have money. Like, if we fight his army and just his, we should win. But he's got all those allies, and so I feel like we're likely not going to be able to win. So I'm, I'm going to have to wait. I will have to wait for an opportunity, maybe for a new crusade or something. But yeah, okay, Bishop Daniel, we have to... Um, Hmm, ferocity. He's patient. He's compassion. Ferocity? I think ferocity might be... Might be his, uh... His way. Hmm, no. Okay, he was not very happy about that. <laughs> okay. Well, we tried. It's kind of hard to guess sometimes. I mean, if he was chast, I could... I could have taken chastity, obviously. Overtaxation? Why is it overtaxation? Just tax them regularly. I want you to regain control. Not keep losing it. Well, at least the popular the opinion is fine for now. We'll deal with the corruption. Okay, there it is. It's gone. Okay, and this will grow in time. Awesome. But yeah, so we're getting some money back. Um, can even go a little bit faster here. And as I said, yeah, we're waiting for an opportunity to strike. Uh, but they definitely need to be at war. Support in mercenary negotiations. Mercenary higher cost minus 20%. Now that is actually a good idea. I would not... I would not mind going for that, actually. We have eight companions here. Heteria. Knights. Het Heteria. Heteria, I guess. Yeah. Heteria. It's a 
weird name. And some of them are actually very good. That's, that's awesome. Some of them are actually very, very good fighters. I don't think we have seen a 27 prowess person yet, but um, still, 16 is, is pretty decent. Okay, we can choose a new perk, and uh, we lost some piety. Well, I didn't lose it personally, right? I hope not. No, this is my bishop. Oh, really? Interesting. All this time I thought it was someone else, but it's actually affecting me directly. Well, we're going to try and become Defender of the Faith here, which an interesting title. <laughs> um, I guess we're Defender of the Faith in Cyprus, right? I feel like that uh, is a more accurate description because uh, I'm not quite the defender of the entire Orthodox faith. Okay, there seems to be a war going on. The Abbasids, they've lost an ally and defending in a liberty war. You don't have money. I think we can try. I think we can try. Holy War for a duchy. Obviously, I want to go for Antioch. Vastly superior. 4,000. Declare war. Right, I don't have the... I don't have the piety for it right now, so I have to wait. I need 200 piety, which we'll get soon. It's, yeah, it's like one more month. <sighs> um, I have 90 gold. Can I raise... I could create two more men-at-arms regiments. That's probably something I should do instead, right? That would be 200 extra men. We would be at like 800 men. That's not bad. 800 men? Hmm... I think we should prepare more. I feel like we should, we need to prepare more. So uh, what I'm going to go for is we have light horsemen, light footmen. Let's go for some armored footmen. I, I can't afford. Okay. I want some armored footmen. I want some good troops. And maybe even cataphracts. Although it's going to probably take some more time. Slavak has died. Okay. He was our court physician. But I had then, I then had him replaced later on. I want to wait for the Abbasids to be in more trouble. Than they are right now. But right. Oh, he actually was my steward. Interesting. So who can we choose instead? My son. Um Okay, yeah. Why not? He's pretty good actually. I didn't know my son didn't have a position yet. But uh, there you there you go. And he's got a we've got a granddaughter as well, Eudoxia. She's betrothed to the prince. Prince of what? A... It says prince. Son of... Oh no, you're the son of a prince. I get it. Okay. I, I didn't uh, arrange that marriage, so that must have been my son. Interesting. I, I wasn't... I, I wasn't aware that you could do that. But yeah. As I step over the threshold to my friend Anatolius's office, and I went deeply over a book. Um, right. He can gain the trait Physician. Sure. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely worth the investment. But obviously, yeah, we do need money. And Thomas died. I think, yeah, he was a leader of a republic. He was one of our... Yeah, he was a chancellor, actually. Um, but I can make this mayor my <laughs> chancellor immediately. How about I assign this guy, my fighter companion... My grandson can be assigned as well. I think my grandson should probably get this position instead. There you go. Shall be assigned. And there goes my wife. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am, my heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Eudoxia, my darling. Life will not be the same without you. At least the memories remain. Okay, 35 stress. It doesn't matter. Oh, I hope you find peace. Interesting. So we can choose to get less stress. Hmm. I guess we'll get, we'll take more stress? I don't know. Really. I guess I could have just taken less. I don't really know what the uh, what that uh, does. Why there is even this option. But I'll take it for now. And I think that means we need to do something to get rid of all that stress. Um, call for a hunt. Work of some stress. I think that's something we can do. We get the sweaty stench for a year. Minus one. Actually, no. There's something else we can do. We can call a hunt. And because we're athletic, we'll lose a lot of stress here. Um, so let's actually do that. It's going to cost a little bit of money. Actually, quite a lot. 
Um, let's do that first. Okay, hunt the heart. My Heteria Ioannikos is the first to see it. The flighty, the flighty heart is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but this is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with the animal, and it is almost as if it can sense my intention, for it suddenly takes off. We ride, we lose, oh no, we gain um, some prestige, and we lose stress. Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll go for it. Hopefully we're not going to fall down that cliff. Although that might be possible. And... Orthodox further decreased. Okay, so these are the events where I don't lose anything personally. Um, but the others... Um, I, I have to look more closely at those things. Okay. We follow the heart on its flight through the through a ravine. And suddenly Ioannikos' horse loses its footing and sends him to the ground screaming. It is nothing fatal, but the unlanded is twisting in pain. We press on... Uh, Yannikos must be given time to recover. Now, I think... Hmm. Well, we'll give him time to recover. I'll help him in his time if need. Sure. We won't le uh, leave a soldier behind. Even on a hunt. Okay, what is this that we can do? Powerful vassal. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Powerful vassal. As the heart disappears into the plains, I know that the quarry is lost. It is regrettable that Ioannikos had to be injured over an escaped heart, but such risks are part of the thrill. Indeed, next time we'll get it. I agree. Okay, do you still have your alliances? What if I was to declare war on you right now? Holy Wolf for Duchy. Um, yeah, we're still vastly outnumbered. Ah, although that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Are you at war? Wait, hold on. Are you at war? Shake. Wait, you are... You're the Caliph. You're allied to... The Safarid Shah. And the Samadid Shah. And they're both helping you. And you're still losing. Interesting. So... I feel like... Because you might be busy with something else, right? No, you're not. This Shah is very powerful. And the Samadids, they're busy. Okay, so it's really just the Saffirids. I think, you know what? I feel like we can do this. What's our stress level at? We have one stress. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it. In fact, we're being raided. We do not have a spouse. We could marry again. The Chieftain of Elodia... The Barnard of Croatia. This is a duke. That duke could help us. He has 2,000 men. You know what? Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll arrange that marriage where we can marry the daughter of the high chieftess. Wait, no, that's not the one. Um, Susanna Domagikev. Honest, a bit greedy, tough soldier, log logistician. I think we'll go for her. I want this alliance, and Croatia can help us in our war. Um, and their military strength is superior. Yes. We'll send the proposal, we'll get our alliance, and there we go. We will declare war on the Abbasid Caliph once again. Let's declare a holy war for a duchy. Let's do it. I've been meaning to do this. Similar, it says now. Yes. We'll declare the war, and uh, we need to call our ally Ban Ratimir. Oh, plus one. Damn, that is actually very close. But yeah, he will join us. And uh, obviously, we will raise all armies. There we go. And let's get ready for war. Let's slow down a little bit. Okay, Croatia joined the Holy War. Excellent. Now, it's going to take him some time to... Um, it's going to take him some time to come over. But that's okay. We've got all of our troops raised. And let's... Yeah, let's go to Antioch immediately. Let's uh, land straight from the shore. The Samanid and the Safarids have joined. We've just returned from the wild. We gain a little bit more prestige and our hunt has ended. I don't know if we can win this. In fact, I doubt it. But we'll try. Dude, it takes so long to get here. All right. Again, to the boats. Let's actually go speed four. And besiege Antioch immediately. I just hope we're not going to get attacked. Your liege won the war with the Grand Prince Sur. Okay. That's awesome. 
So far, we're doing fine. Oh, no. Oh, this is the Caliph himself coming for a second round. I think we have to abandon our position, though. I don't think we can win this battle. He has four times our numbers. Emperor Louise imprisoned my niece. Wait, my nephew? He will not accept. My nephew is the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. One king by marriage. Are we the king by marriage? No. Ugh. Okay, we are fighting. We have advantage, but we have a lot fewer men. Yeah, this is going terrible. Yeah, we've been defeated. Although there's 2,000 Croatians coming. Too late. And my son and heir was taken captive. Oh, this is bad. Minus 53%. Now the Croatians land. I don't think they can win this. Oh, this was a bad defeat. Although, look at this. We killed more men. It just wasn't enough. Uh, the Croatians, I don't know if they can win this. And we're going all the way. I don't know if the Croatia can win this. It looks... Close. Ah, uh, they might be able to. They might be able to. My niece has been released. I think they're gonna win this. Okay, let's bring my troops back, back over here. Let's actually embark, and then go like this. I don't want to take attrition walking around these fortresses. Okay, the Croatians won. They bailed me out basically, but the problem is my heir has been taken. Okay. Um. 50%. The heir is captured. Well, this is obviously a big issue. Can I ransom him? For 11 gold. No. I'm at war. For a favor. <laughs> no, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> obviously. Obviously, he won't do that. My sister Alexia just died. But we lost stress because of that. I think, yeah... We're happy about that because she's very sadistic. But look at this. A nephew. I mean, shouldn't that give us renown? I don't know. Okay, I can go for some mercenaries. I still need a steward. Uh, we'll assign the vassal here for now. Sure, why not? As my son is uh, not there anymore. It's not available. Okay, we're going to get Antioch. The question is... Um... The question is, uh, will we still win the war as well? There's some fighting sounds going on. Desert Brethren. Okay. Prisoner taken in the siege. Golbaha. Um, I would like to ransom this child for 10 gold. Or are you heir to something? Yeah, you're the youngest child. That's fine. We'll take the 10 gold. Um, so yeah, the question is, what do, these, what do these people do? Is he gonna attack me in my home? That's possible. We took the 10 gold for now. With 36%, we will get the ticking war square in our favor. He is coming from my lands, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay, we can try and fight. Can we not? If we're... Let's get here. Follow me. Can I catch him? Uh, we will take 100 casualties if we move there. That's probably a bad idea then. So I'll just besiege this. Hmm. Our culture has discovered barracks. 
That's awesome. So, yeah, so far so good. The Abbasid still doesn't have any money, which is amazing. Um, but without Croatia, I cannot win this war. I need them... I need them to stay with me. If anybody... Like, if if, if the Byzantines were to declare war on them or something, I would be... I, I would lose. Now, we're going to finish the siege, and then we'll return and crush his army. That's the plan here. We'll see if it's uh, successful. But I want this siege to be uh, to be finished. We're still making money, despite the war. So that's all good. Come on. There we go. And let's attack. And, uh, yeah. You're in debt. We have more soldiers. Come from behind. Oh. Nah, he's, he's, he's coming. Clear rationality. We can gain piety. My recent endeavors within the realm have given me greater appreciation for God's representatives. Mm, you know what? Why not? Let's improve these relation because we might be able to get some money from him. I can declare another war. Yeah, I probably won't. Are we going to catch him? Yes, we have. Yeah, we should win this. And this is the Caliph himself. I mean, if we take him captive, then this is over. Um, okay, your letter is much appreciated. Praise the Lord. Indeed. And we actually took some money from this as well. Good. So let's uh, see the end of this battle here. If we capture the Caliph, all will be well. And Count Duam of Posega was slain. Emir Kadud al Katiz of Antioca. Wait, is he the... Uh... Yeah, he's the... No, no, no. He's not the Emir. He, I, I thought it's the Battle of Antioch. Yeah, right. I thought it was the uh, Emir. Okay, anyway. So we won. That is... Uh, that's actually very good. I think we can continue our conquest here still because my heir has been captured. Um, this is problematic. This, this war will continue for some uh, time. Anyway, though, I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll continue this war in the next episode.